So it's not ideal to have your opponent wrap their legs around yours. Obviously there's many attacks that can come from here. Um, heavy leg entanglements, a lot of people excel in this type of position. The reason that she's able to wrap her legs around mine is because her hips got close enough to me. So we're gonna look at one principle, a principle of framing that allows me to keep the distance and avoid these leg entanglements. Let's take a look. So if we, if we look at the anatomy of our partner, we always talk about framing. Framing with a strong position from ourself is important, but when we use our opponent's structure as a frame also, it can give us a lot of advantages. So right now, if my partner Amber wants to get close to me, watch her butt's gonna scoot in, but you see her knee, so scoot back. It's actually her femur, as she scoots in, the knee is actually pointing up so her, her butt can scoot under. Go ahead and do it again. So I know that the knee traveling is a big piece of this uh, space engagement. So I'm gonna prevent that by a simple grip. So scoot back. If I simply frame against the bottom of her kneecap and she tries to scoot in, she can't cover the distance. Now, she's, she's applying a grip here. Obviously there's a game involved, but just a simple concept of framing against your opponent. I'm just gonna do this again, go ahead. If I let go, she has, if I, if I reach for a grip up here, for example, or even a pant leg grip, she can scoot her butt directly and I'm gonna be in trouble. So with the idea of not allowing her but to scoot forward, I simply attach the palm of my hand underneath her kneecap. And I usually start with both, so go ahead. When they get frustrated, they'll make a grip. And of course, when they have two posts disengaged, one, I'm blocking this one, and two, she gave me this grip, now she can't post. They become frustrated, but it makes it easy to pass to the side. So just feel the frame, just go ahead and make the connection. I'm gonna to attempt to scoot forward. All right, you have to move a little bit. As soon as I take my post and try to go for a grip, you have a lot of control. Now what would happen if you chose a different grip? Oh. Like pant leg or, or body lock, or you come for a grip? Yeah, so I can still, I can scoot. I can engage my hip. I'm able to dive under because this isn't blocked. So again, blocking here prevents that change in distance. And when I have to use grips to pull in, I become somewhat easy to pass. <laughs> oh. no. 